George and Katie, since we last came on the air, I was actually able to get a little bit closer to the garage. I'm gonna step out of the shop for a second and zoom in. I might only have a dollar in my hand, but if you multiply that by a million, that's how much money Diversity Council received to promote vaccine awareness. Katie, the Red Kettle campaign has a long history here in the Med City, going back 125 years. Golfers, young and old, came out today to tee it up, all for a good cause. If you plan to walk into Masjid Abu Bakr Al Sadiq, be prepared to mask up because the mosque is requiring them again. The vaccine will be offered today through Saturday right here inside Grandstand and no appointments are needed. Even at this hour, the Apache Mall is still busy and cars are still coming and going in and out of the parking lot. Amy, it's a combination of teamwork and practice that gets RFD ready for the worst. Family and friends gathered at Todd Park in Austin this morning to celebrate the birthday of an Austin 13-year-old. Camp News 3's Jeremy Wall takes us to the Make-A-Wish birthday parade. People might be gathering in person again, but birthday parades are still happening. Sounds and excitement lit up Todd Park on Saturday morning as people came to say happy birthday to 13-year-old Kazen Cruz. Hazen is a Make-A-Wish kid battling leukemia. We're in the process of wait waiting for our Make-A-Wish. Children of serious illnesses all over the state have had to wait longer than normal for their wishes to be granted by Make-A-Wish Minnesota during the pandemic. Make-A-Wish uh, graciously contacted us and let us know that while we're waiting um, for that to, to be granted, uh, they like to do little tokens of appreciation along the way. So uh, they asked if they could have a little drive-by parade. <laughs> Firefighters and police officers were some of the many people driving by to say happy birthday to Kazen. How do you feel about all these people coming out today just for you? Um, kind of overwhelmed um, and also excited. To add more excitement, signs were posted during the parade encouraging participants to sing and clap for the 13-year-old. The parade was a success and Kazen had a great birthday. In Austin, Jeremy Wall, KIMT News 3. First tonight, in a highly anticipated move, Pfizer's COVID vaccine is now fully approved by the FDA for use in people ages 16 and older. Now that it has the same level of approval as other vaccines, businesses, universities, and local governments are widely expected to make getting the vaccine mandatory. KIMT News 3's Jeremy Wall has been on the street all day getting reaction to this move, and he joins us live at Mayo Clinic. Jeremy. George and Katie, I spoke to a lot of people today. Many believe this will result in more people getting vaccinated, but there are some who believe there's little chance the FDA's decision will change anyone's mind. Kristen Fisk is a college student at UMR. He believes that more Americans, especially college students, will get the COVID-19 shot now that the FDA has approved the vaccine. For people that are going to university, I definitely think it's gonna change their mind because they're gonna put their school career in perspective and now that it's FDA approved I think there's going to be a lot less fear of what could happen with the vaccine so I think more people are definitely going to get it for sure. Ryan Rawson is all for the vaccine. I'm very pro-vaccine myself and I, I really do hope that it changes people's minds and I think it will as this is coming from like a big official body so I think people will become less skeptical and I think mandates might start coming through which would be helpful for uh, numbers getting up. Rawson, concerned about his family, is hopeful more people will choose to be vaccinated. I have a four-year-old sister and I also have a 16-year-old sister back home. And on top of that as well, I also have an immunocompromised father. So I'm, uh, I'm nervous for him and I'm nervous for them because I don't want them to be affected by COVID and also the Delta variant. Haley Nordstrom comes from a family that never gets vaccinated and doesn't think the FDA's decision will change their minds. I am not too concerned because our personally because my family never gets sick. <laughs> we have this thing where our immune system we just work really quickly and I we don't even get a cold. So and none of them are vaccinated your nephew and uncle. No, nobody in my family has ever been vaccinated, not even a tetanus shot. 
Following the FDA's decision, the University of Minnesota will add the COVID-19 vaccine to the list of required vaccines for enrollment this semester. Live in Rochester, Jeremy Wall, KIMT News 3. New at 6, the Freeborn County Fair may be the perfect opportunity for the unvaccinated to get a shot. KIMT News 3's Jeremy Wall spent his day at the fair where the county health department is offering both the Johnson & Johnson and the Moderna vaccines. The options are endless when you attend the Freeborn County Fair. From fried food to the animal exhibits and now even free COVID-19 vaccines to those who want them. The fair is back for another year of fun and now the peace of mind that comes with vaccines. For the first time ever, the Freeborn County Public Health Department will be offering vaccines to protect fairgoers from the coronavirus. Freeborn County uh, is in the substantial level uh, of positive cases. Um, again, according to CDC and Minnesota Department of Health, when we're at the substantial level, we should be masking when we're indoors. And so um, all the more reason to be able to get people vaccinated. Fairgoer Roger Beardham already got his shot and believes everyone else should too. Well, I've got mine. I'm not wearing a mask. I feel pretty comfortable with that. So. Fair Board Director Gordy Tongas thinks the fair is the perfect opportunity to get the vaccine. If people want to get vaccinated, then it's a real good opportunity, easy to get. There is, however, a limited supply of vaccines. We really have no idea how many people we will be able to vaccinate. Um, we do currently have 70 doses, and if we need more, maybe we'll be able to get some more. Um, so we're hoping to be able to vaccinate as many people as possible. The vaccine will be offered today through Saturday right here inside Grandstand, and no appointments are needed. In Albert Lee, Jeremy Wall, KIMT News 3.